What's up you guys? My name is Grady. I listen to country music on this channel and whatever else I want to listen to. Today I'm checking out the new single from Garth Brooks who has made, you know, a comeback in the last few years. He took like about a decade off, let his kids finish high school, and he has now come back into the country music scene. And it's been interesting because he's been like a complete touring monster and like selling out stadiums or arenas over and over and over again but in terms of kind of clout and visibility and really being zeitgeisty he, he's not anywhere near where he was when he left the industry and that's okay that might not be his goal Garth's about the money which is why his newest single i think it's called all day long is not on any streaming services except amazon you can only get it if you pre-order the album and to me as a fan, I get it, and I think Garth does care about songwriting royalties, and that's admirable. It also is, it's quite presumptuous, I think, uh, that everyone, I guess it's, I mean, he's he's playing the hand that he has, and he knows that he's extremely popular, and, and you know, by some counts, the best-selling artist of all time, and so he can do this. He can kind of, you know, do what he wants, and make these big exclusive deals that are going to benefit him and aren't that fan friendly. But at the same time, I don't know that so long as he's doing these sort of things and making his music harder to access, he's ever going to reach that kind of zeitgeisty place that he once was. And it might just be a difference in how I see the world and how he sees the world. I'm always more motivated by respect and clout than by money. And Garth might be different. And hello. I'm a freaking YouTuber, not a big star, so I should just shut up. Anyway, I'm going to check out this song. One of you guys was cool enough to send me a copy of it, not saying who. It's very likely that I'll just chop this video into bits, if not even just like not playing the music, because I know that Garth Brooks, there's no one that is, except maybe Taylor Swift, there's no one that's harsher about copyright hitting stuff on YouTube. And you'll never find his songs on YouTube and stuff like that. So I don't want to take the risk. So I'm just going to listen to the song now and maybe just review it at the end. Start the weekend. Somebody's got to swing him door. Somebody's got to I don't know. This is like bro country by a dad to me. I'm halfway through the song now. And it's interesting because Garth, he's tried to kind of be this almost John Lennon type world healer with songs like people loving people and uh, we shall be free. And so to me to hear him like swaggering, like I can do this nightlife all day long it, it, and is a little laughable. I mean, he's not, he's framed himself as like an emotional sentimental type. So I don't, I don't know. Let it go. Gotta get it done. All right, so I just listened to All Day Long from Garth Brooks. This was a song that he co-wrote along with Mitch Russell, who wrote his uh, number one song, Ask Me How I Know, that I think is a totally forgettable song in his catalog. Um, and he wrote that along with Brian Kennedy, um, who also wrote American Honky Tonk Bar Association. Really enjoy that song. And it makes sense coming from someone slightly younger than, than Garth is now. Uh, and someone that's tried to, as I said, pivot into being a little bit more sentimental and emotional of an artist. This definitely feels like a throwback to kind of uh, the Garth with his headset running around on stage days, the kind of more high energy stuff that he was putting out. And it's a pretty fun bar song. I, I think like the sound of it and the fiddles and the classic kind of honky tonk vibe. Although I think this is much more in kind of like, it's, it's halfway between honky tonk, um, and sort of like that macho electric guitar post rock sound. So this is like halfway between John party and, uh, Jason Aldean, maybe. And I could actually see me enjoying Jason Aldean doing this song more than Garth doing this song. And just because I don't actually believe the lyric, it feels pretty fake to me um, as a persona that Garth is putting on. This guy that's going to spend all his money and bust a rack and, and shoot whiskey and um, this is right where I belong. That is so not how I feel like anyone sees Garth or how he presents himself. That said, it's a really fun party song. Um, the part that made me laugh was at the end where he says, somebody's got to hold my beer. Uh, just, I, I don't know if the songwriters are 
aware of the kind of meme of like hold my beer but it is uh i don't know it, it, i don't think that's how it was presented but it made me chuckle when i heard that this song is is the definition of fine to me i'll actually be pleasantly surprised if radio plays this he's coming off a number one single and so i'll be surprised if they play something that kind of is super fiddle filled and and more traditional sounding or traditional now is referencing the 90s um but it would be cool if they did it would be really cool if they did this song is it's it's a big it reminds me of hell yeah by montgomery gentry or even like save a horse ride a cowboy and it has kind of a similar vibe as i love this bar by toby keith but the disconnect with my narrator and not really believing he means these words that's hard for me to get over and i know everyone's like no they're storytelling it's not all about authenticity but you gotta believe it you're like this is what i had to pre-order an album to get I'm just not that good but i like garth garth was one of my entry points into the country music world unanswered prayers my dad was randomly really into that song even though he wasn't a big country fan he uh was a funk dj that's how he paid his way through law school and he wasn't that big into country but he got into randy travis and he got into the unanswered prayers album from garth so i listened to a lot of double live when i was young and that was one of my entry points along with randy travis into the country music world so i'll always have a soft spot for garth i like him i find him very entertaining but all day long to me it is like a worse version of real good man by tim mcgraw so i don't see him as this body rocker or naughty at all so that's it for me i'm repeating myself at this point i'll give all day long six out of ten nothing too special which seems to be kind of probably my most common score that i'm giving on this channel is six out of ten but a lot of like opening singles for radio are not that interesting so i haven't heard the other song that he put out or i think he put out but i'm not going to cover it um hopefully i don't get copyright struck let me know what you guys think of the song subscribe to the channel like this video and i'll be back with more stuff very soon